Hey, hey, happy first day of April, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, welcome to class. Let me just uh, go ahead and finish getting everybody in here out of the waiting room. People still, uh, still connect. Some of us still connecting. And we'll just, uh, we'll just hang out here on the, on the ceiling while we get everybody in. Just hanging around. Okay. Hey, looks like everybody got in here. So uh, the joke of the day today. Um, yeah, I was going to tell you this uh, this joke about time travel, but uh, none of you liked it. <laughs> so anyway, let's jump into the lesson then. Uh, let's not just hang around here all day. Hey, uh, Let me grab a drink of water. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Let me, uh, great. All right. Uh, so, uh, the screen, that's the lesson for today. Let me hit the uh, screen share. All right. So the uh, lesson for today is about slope fields. We'll be starting this today in our learning target. You'll be able to use transformations of differential equations to create a slope field. And, oh, oh man. I'm sorry. I got the uh, they got the screen upside down. Let me um, get that. Uh... Yep. Okay. There we go. Now it should be right side up for you. <laughs> okay. So what is the slope field? You ask. Well, uh, if we're given a function, you know, we could imagine moving that around in the x y space of a graph, and it's going to be important. Obviously, obviously, very important to know what the slope would be at any point where you might happen to move that um, that graph. So we're going to divide the entire xy plane into a grid, just kind of like a graph paper. And at each one of those little intersections, we're going to make a slope calculation. So we can do that much easier if we use transformations, which we've been studying recently. The past week or so, we've been doing transformations, uh, moving graphs around, up, down on the graph, left, right. Uh, and so that's going to make this, this task much, much easier. So you can see uh, that red graph there in the middle, just as an example, would be our, our original function f of x. And uh, if we were to translate up four spaces, we've got this blue equation with the plus four. Down gives us the green one. And uh, so let's do this interactive uh, Desmos graph. We'll make it way, way easier to understand. So let me just go ahead and open that up. 